Today we've got some Rust console news. We're going to be talking about patch 1.10 and that's right, we're 10 patches in and not all of them were as bad as Hitler's decision to invade Russia. In addition to that, we're going to be talking about some Halloween skins and finally I'm going to let you in on a little secret as to why this video didn't get released yesterday. So first off, let's start off with the patch notes. Hello survivors, the second Halloween patch is here. Have a look at the list of changes implemented for this next wipe. Also, we've added a new spooky skin to the store. So basically they're trying to to get extra money out of us because they're releasing two sets of Halloween skins. Anyways, here's the crash fixes. They fixed a crash related to voice chat, which I thought they fixed that already, but I guess there's a lot of them. And they fixed a crash that could occur when resuming the game on the Rust Coins screen. Not 100% sure what happened there, but whatever. Bug fixes. Animals and helicopters will no longer target players in the safe zone. So I tested this out. That actually does work, which is really nice. But this safe zone now sometimes targets players in the safe zone, even if they haven't done anything wrong, which is a little awkward. Fixed emissive lights on the Shinobi garage door. Players should be able to see it in the dark. Fixed a bug that could occur when throwing an item into any other item dropped any other dropped item by the player. This would cause it to disappear if the item was not visibly a bag so that doesn't even make like what are you guys doing you're throwing items at other items and complaining about it seriously this game has so many bugs and this is what we've decided to fix all right they fixed the various small in-game hangs ui changes added favorite options in the locker the item in the crafting ui will now use the favorite skin if set this does not affect rocks currently yet this will be coming in a future patch so basically rocks are still bugged but you can set a favorite skin that will be used i guess they fixed a bug which allows players to navigate the skin store on loading screen all right fixed a hang on the loading screen when opening the skin store all right a lot of skin store fixes here i think we know where the money is fix the scroll not working on audio subcategory and options okay whatever audio hit marker headshot mix adjustment that's actually really good i was getting annoyed when i couldn't hear those hit markers added hit marker headshot volume slider in the audio options menu added footstep volume slider in the audio options menu so for those of you who aren't paying attention turn this all the way up it's going to make it way easier to hear other players added extra volume overhead with the in-game music slider should players desire extra musical presence nail gun actuation fixes so the nail guns no longer going to sound louder than a jet engine lots of minor audio bug fixes memory optimizations and mix adjustments so it's pretty much just a lot of bug fixes and they added two new sets of skins so let's just quickly take a look at those skins so the first skin that you can buy is the revenant scout skin this is 860 rust coins so this is actually a pretty decent price offering but the skin itself in my opinion while it does have a lot going on it just feels a little too lackluster to me so looking at this you get burlap trousers burlap shirt road sign kilt road sign jacket a coffee can helmet and a salvaged sword so salvaged sword not many people are going to be crafting that so that's a a little bit of an L in my opinion right there. Also the burlap trousers, burlap shirt, they look fine. These sort of do blend in a little bit at night. So maybe you could get some advantage there. If you've already got the ninja stuff, I don't know why you'd be messing around with this to be honest. Maybe you just like the way it looks, but overall to me, it just looks a little bit too busy. And then when you go to the road sign kilt, the road sign jacket and the coffee can helmet, those are going to glow in the dark, which is a, it's a pretty big disadvantage if you're trying to use this at night. So this is a set of armor that a lot of players aren't gonna use just because of that if you do like the way it looks and all that i could 100 get but the one thing i want to point out here is the fact that they haven't offered any gloves those road sign gloves there's no skin for those and i don't know what's going on with this why do you offer the kilt the jacket and the coffee can but not the gloves instead we're getting a salvaged sword give us the gloves not the sword that's what that's what most people want i think right or just give us the gloves in addition to the sword but I, I think the gloves are something that really should be going along with this because if you look at this player model you can definitely see it's missing right like the, sh the feet okay the feet we can sort of fill in because we do we have gotten some stuff and same with the gloves i guess but if you want to be like a full road sign kit you need the gloves and there's no skins for the gloves that are going to fit with this skin set that we've got here and those are the only that's the only part that you're actually even going to be really seeing a lot too you see it when you aim your gun and everything like that so it's even going to look cool for you like we we really should have gloves in my opinion but anyways let's let's jump over to the next skin so next skin is going to be this revenant architecture so this is only 440 rust coins so roughly like four bucks that that's actually a pretty good deal in my opinion you get the sleeping bag which in my opinion looks a little bit blah it's got a little bit blood on it it's got some like i don't know it's got like a spinal cord but it just doesn't really 
mean much to me. It doesn't like do much. The grad short looks pretty interesting. The skull is glow in the dark, I believe. Actually, all of this is glow in the dark, which is pretty cool. So the grad door, the sheet metal door, the large wooden box, the chair, and the furnace all gonna glow. I like the fact that they changed that furnace glow to be green. I really do like that. I think that's a cool addition. The garage door and the sheet metal door having that skull is it's pretty cool. A lot of people are gonna like it. They're gonna buy it because it looks sick. And honestly, at this price, I can 100% get it. Again, the chair, I don't know why they keep offering chairs up instead of something else, but it is what it is. Do you guys really all use chairs that much? Last time I went against chairs and people were saying like, oh, cereal, people use chairs all over the place. Like, I get it. They're good for healing. I get it. You can use them to roof camp. I get it. Maybe you want to set up a suicide bunker and just blow your Finally, we've got to talk about something that a few of you guys have been asking about on Discord, Twitter, Pornhub, and everything like that. Why this video dropped today instead of yesterday. So the reason behind that is pretty simple, but I'm going to explain it because I know people just don't understand what's going on with the algorithm and all of that. So the way the YouTube algorithm works is if you put a video out and then in short succession, you put another video out, that video that came out first is going to basically get dropped from all your subscribers feeds. It's not going to show up in people's notifications. It's not going to show up as easily in search. And it's basically just going to be downranked quite heavily. I didn't want that to happen to this Minecraft video because I know even though it has a low amount of views, a lot of people aren't interested in it. I, I spent a ton of time on that video, like editing things together, editing clips so that you get these blocks like being destroyed in like a nice succession, putting all these like satisfying pieces into that video. And I even told a Nazi bunker story. So there was a lot of components going into that video. There was a lot of time spent editing it. There was a lot of time just spent thinking it out and trying to make the best video possible. Like every video I put out is meant to be as good of a video as possible, but something like this, I've got to throw it together real quick and just get you guys the bare information along with maybe some jokes or something like that. Something like what I did right there, that's something that took like a month for me to just edit together, piece together and make it as perfect as I could possibly make it. Obviously, I'm not a professional. Those videos aren't like, they're not gonna blow anyone away or anything like that, but I put a lot of time into it and I wanted to give it this fair shake in the world. I wanted to get as many eyes on it as possible and just see what happened. Video didn't do good, that's the nature of the beast. Sometimes you spend a ton of time on something, it doesn't do good, and then sometimes you put something together, throw in one dick joke, and it goes to like 100,000 people. And it's like, all right, now I look like a complete idiot, but that's just the nature of the beast, that's the nature of the algorithm, and I just wanted to give it its fair shot. So that's why this video is coming out late, and I do appreciate the fact that people are looking for my video on updates. Like, I realize that that is a really amazing place to be in, and I don't take it for granted, but, you know, I gotta take the shots that I've gotta take, and I've gotta just, make what I enjoy making and try and help people or entertain people in whatever way possible. And I thought that video might be able to do it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, peace.